And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis. Alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm coming right up for you. Live top division action from the Pro League. It's Kent facing Anderlecht. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And they need to get tighter here. Chance to take the lead. Must score. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Amuzu. Put. Trebel. Fabio Silva. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Big chance to get them on terms. Hugo Kuipers. Laurent de Poitre. It did look on for them, but not to be. Adrien Trebel. Trebel. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Hugo Kuipers. Sebastiano Esposito. Just not looking confident in possession. What can they do from here? Great opportunity. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, They've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Can he put it away? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Esposito. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. That is that for the first half here. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Can they convert? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form!
Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Fabio Silva. Can he make it count? That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Ojija Ofoe. Hugo Kuipers. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Plenty of support here. And ready to strike. Is it going to be? And still pressing. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Did well to win the ball back. And possession given away. And the referee blows for a foul. Time for a change then. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? A fine reading of the situation. Can they hit on the break? He could pick out a teammate. Could reduce the deficit. And the challenge crisp and clean. Kulzaga. Laurent de Poitre. Top class defending. Good technique displayed. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good...